CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Monday. We are waking up with some fog and also cloudy conditions as we look from our wind jam resort camera. Lauderdale by the sea. This is a view from the Rusty Pelican camera. Key Biscayne right now even seeing the fog along the coast and it's all due to this front that is keeping us unsettled this morning as we're dealing with a few showers as well. So don't forget your umbrella. It's not going to be a complete washout today, but the rain chance certainly is higher as compared to yesterday at this time. So looking at the radar there, you see some of those showers around Parkland, Coral Springs, and also we're seeing some heavier rain now developing around Pembroke Pines and near Hard Rock Stadium, as well as Miami Lakes, some showers around Hialeah and Miami Springs. Notice how the bulk of the action though is off across the interior and over the Everglades, but there are a few showers that are sneaking into Doral. Dense fog advisory is in effect until 9 a.m. for the lower keys of Monroe County because visibility there is down to less than a quarter of a mile in spots. In fact, you can see in Key West down to only a mile, but the fog is dense and around much of South Florida, visibility is down to two miles in Homestead 6 in Miami and Kendall 4 in Pompano Beach. So definitely give your extra time for your commute this morning and use the low beam headlights. The winds are calm. That's part of the reason that we're seeing the fog in addition to a lot of low level moisture and you'll feel it when you step outside because it's so sticky out there this morning. We should be waking up to lows in the low 60s, but instead it's all about the low to mid 70s out there. So temperatures already above normal, but we are the warmest spot as compared to the rest of the US due to a polar plunge in Arctic air. Wow, it is 23 degrees below zero in Bismarck, nine below zero in Minneapolis, only two degrees in Chicago, seven in Kansas City, teens in Denver and Salt Lake City, teens as well in New York City and Boston. Boston as temperatures will continue to plummet and the 30s even as far south as Memphis and Atlanta 40s around the Gulf Coast states and we're seeing 57 in Houston but 40s and 50s for much of the West Coast except for Seattle 37 degrees so indeed will be the hot spot this afternoon warm humid highs in the low to mid 80s a chance for some spotty showers throughout the day today for boaters wind southeast 10 to 50 knots seas 2 to 3 and a light chop on the bays tonight mild and muggy again Again, with the low 70s and the potential for a patchy fog overnight. It's going to be a warm week ahead. Highs will continue in the low to mid 80s with plenty of warm sunshine. And then by the end of the week, the rain chance will start to increase a little bit. We'll stay warm through the holiday weekend, 82 on Valentine's Day.